Hello there, everyone. This is Quiversy, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Last time, we finished up in the Lake Bed Temple and found the final Fused Shadow. Only for Zant to come and take them from us. And what's worse, he has forced us back into our Twilight form and forced Midna to embrace some light, which does not seem to have done anything good for her. I am upset that the battle music has just interrupted the lovely music that was playing before. There it is. You know, Twilight Princess doesn't have my favorite soundtrack out of the Zelda series, but it does have some really good standout music. And this song right here, which I'm fairly certain is called Minna's Lament, is one of them. Uh, I just realized I'm going the wrong way. And I want to try to avoid battle as much as I can, just so I can enjoy this music, because... I, can, I can't think of anything that would be able to better set the mood. It's so peaceful, but very somber, too. And I think it also is just a very fitting song for Minna in general. Which might not make sense if you've only known her as the playful little imp we've encountered until now, but... Well, there's a lot more to Minna than we've seen. Anyways, we need to get her back to Hyrule Castle stat. We need to find Zelda. And hopefully her magic can undo what Zant has done. Just a little bit farther now. All right, the gates are open. Let's just hope that there aren't no people around to be spooked at us as a wolf. It would seem that they are. I just hate the rain. I can't get comfortable whether I sit or stand. Maybe my sixth sense is trying to tell me something. In a general sense, not really. Even though, yeah, cats, not a fan of rain. But in this case, I think that that cat is correct. Anyways, the people of the town are obviously terrified of us because they think we're a monster. And to be fair, we do have Minna on our backs, fully visible. I, no, come on, come on. get, get the, there we go, boom. Sorry, it, it, it's, it's a requirement. Anyways, to the castle. They... Okay, I thought something was supposed to happen. That... Oh, wait! No, 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 no. Now I remember. Now I remember. Um, if you recall, Telma told us that there was a secret passage to the castle in her bar. This is why we need it. This is what it's for. Oh, hold on. There are more cats to talk to. Haven't seen your face around here before. If you want to know about this town, then you should ask Louise, Telma's cat. That's good to know. You look so stern. With the look on your face, you'll frighten the humans. Listen. Dogs and cats definitely have the means to convey emotions through their facial features. But it is not nearly at the level of expressive that humans can do. Also, I went to the wrong alley, but I actually do want to check something. Because I did kind of notice this back in editing. That looks like a spot I should be able to dig through. We'll figure out that house another time. Maybe the only reason that it's not working is because we have Midna, like, in this state. I'll have to check back on that later. But for now, to Telma's. Beast, get out! Well, that was rude. Can't they see we got an injured thing on our backs? You there. Hi. You must be Louise. We've seen you. You're Link, correct? I didn't remember that the cat recognized us. Hmm, yes, I thought so. I could just tell, you know. 
I'm Louise. Do you remember being in this shop before? Though I don't think we were properly introduced. In any case, I must tell you I'm a bit puzzled as to why you look like that. Really, dear, you can't blame the humans for tossing you out the way you look. Oh, another patient? You certainly are a curious sort. Please. Princess Zelda. This way. Here, get in through the window. The attic is connected to the castle's waterway. It's an old waterway, though, so it could be a rough trip. Well, I suppose all I have to do is to make sure that the humans don't notice you. That is an incredibly easy job because Louise is, in fact, a cat. If there is one animal that is a master of the distraction of humans, it is the cat. Anyways, thanks to her help, we can now get in undetected. But we gotta be careful. One false move. And this happens. What? What was that sound? Beast, get out! I thought that uh, Louise said it was the humans throwing us out, not the Gorons. All I can say is, I wish that instead of throwing us out like a, you know, like a dangerous beast, uh, they would pet Link like the dog that he is right now. All right, let's do that again and not purposefully alert them. Because, yeah, if you knock the pots off onto the floor, then you get thrown out yourself. Although... If I didn't fall off in the process of doing that, I'm not sure if I would have actually. There we go. Regardless, there's no benefit to breaking them, as far as I recall. So, you know, aside from just the satisfaction of breaking the pots, which, to be fair, that is a pretty good reward in its own right. Whoa! Oh, okay, there we go. Got a tightrope walk across the year. Hey, it's Telma! How's it come to this, huh? Monsters walking in the streets of town? What in the world are the soldiers of Hyrule doing? The Gorons are so much more reliable than they are, it's not even funny. I mean, you're not wrong, Talma, on all accounts. It's kind of a shame that you don't recognize us like Louise does. Although, to be fair, she probably recognizes us because of our scent. Animals can do that. Alright, well now that we have tightrope walked our way across Telma's bar, we are entering the waterway. Oh! Okay. Starting to come back now. That house with the locked door with, that I thought I could dig into? It's this. And there is what the ghost lights are! We can see them in wolf sense mode. They are, in fact, the Poe. And we can rip out its soul! You got the Poe's soul! Collect one from each Poe you defeat. See how many you have on the collection screen. I forgot that there was a thing about collecting Poe souls. But that's what this room's for. Right. So we're about to learn about this. Um, anyways, lots of money and a big treasure chest. Whole bunch of treasure. And a golden man! Oh, thanks for beating the ghost! Can I call you doggy? I'm Giovanni. I became consumed by greed long ago and sold my soul to a dark creature that did this to me. I can't move. I can't go see my girlfriend. My pet pet, my pet cat Gengel is frozen on my head. I don't think I could be more miserable. I have to ask you a favor, doggy. Can you find and defeat the 20 ghosts that lurk in the dark for me? I think you can free the pieces of my soul from the ghosts that hold them. I'll be free. Oh, but it's raining out now, so I don't think you can go outside directly. I'll open the door to the underground waterway for you.
Once the rain stops, you can come back in here by digging around the front wall where the cats gather. Understand, doggy? I didn't notice until the very last second there, but uh, Giovanni has, like, razor-sharp teeth. And he's also got a doggone picture of George Washington on his wall. Like... The thought of, like... 1700s powdered wigs in Hyrule is... I, I can't explain why, but it just seems like it would not ever happen. It seems like it doesn't make sense. Never mind the fact that, you know... It's... That Hyrule obvious... Like, obviously Hyrule has its own technology, you know... With stuff like the claw shot being stuff that can't exist. But it's obviously got, like, a medieval vibe to it. And... The look on those pictures was well beyond that era, so who the heck knows? Either way, we are in the waterway. And we've already been in the waterway before, just not this section of it. When we were here the first time. Um, do I have to wait for you to, like, rear back? Yep. There we go. Gotta try again? Come on, spider face. Gotcha. Okay. Now that they're gone, we can get stick. Light stick on fire. And burn through web. And I guess we got torches to light, too. Hey, it works for me. Oh. Darn it. All right. Got to get rid of these bats. The keys distract from the firelights. Very good. Let us try again. Thankfully, that torch that we already lit is going to make the trip a lot shorter. There's that. And there's that. And that's it. I thought I was supposed to light the torches and then something would happen. Hmm. Wait, can I go up there? Am I supposed to go up there? I can go up here. For some reason, it didn't look like I could go this way. Which is why I didn't even consider the web until right there. Oh, jeez. Get away from me! This is my stick! Alright, uh, I'm just gonna go down this hole. Goodbye. Whew. Ugh. Now we're back in the sewer proper. This is where we were originally when we first entered the twilight with Midna. Although this time with Boblins. There we go. Okay. Let us climb up. We do not have Minna to help guide us with jumping, unfortunately. Uh, no. Okay, that works. But, uh, at the very least, someone was kind enough to put all of these ropes in. I have to wonder what purpose these ropes actually serve the tower. Like, really? Why are they here? Like, they're here to let us up, but, like... Contextually, they can't like they can't be there to hold things together. If anything, they would be pulling them apart and breaking it more. I am displeased with what has transpired. Mm. Either that, or maybe the bulbons put them up so that they could ascend this tower. 
Because these stairs not being there, that would make it hard for anyone to go up. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to say that the Bulblins did it. Whew. I'm terrified of falling down again. Ha! Not terrified enough to not do that, though. Keep going. Keep going. And get him! Get up, you. All right. Let's just go through the door. I don't I don't need to mess with them. We need to get Minna to Zelda. Fast. All right. We appear to be back up on the ramparts. Keep going. Keep going. Man, I really do wish that the, for this segment at least, that fighting would not interrupt the song. I, that genuinely is frustrating to me. Huh. Interesting, but there's nothing over there for us, so I'm not going to interact. But obviously as the wind blows, uh. I could step on that bridge. And it looks like it looks like there was a hole that I didn't speak I didn't see. Did not expect to die during this segment. Well, let's try that again then. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay, it put me back here. All right, you. Where'd he go? All right, uh, the music changed, so he's gone. I'll take it. Let's not fall down the tiny hole this time. And across to the bridge. Go, 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 go. Ooh. Gotta be quick there, lest we fall down and die again. Past Big Bird. And into Zelda's Tower. Ooh. Zelda, we need your help. There's no Zelda here. she is. Hiding in the corner, I guess. Please, please tell me, how do we break the curse on this one? This is the one you need him to save your world. That's why, princess, Please, must help Link. What binds him is a different magic than what transformed him when he first passed the Curtain of Twilight. It is an evil power. Our world is one of balance. Just as there is light to drive away darkness, so too is there benevolence to banish evil. Head for the sacred grove that lies deep within the lands guarded by the spirit Pharaon. There you will find the blade of evil's bane that was crafted by the wisdom of the ancient sages, the Master Sword. The Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil can never touch. Evil cloaks you like a dark veil, and that blade is the only thing that can cleave it. Link, hero sent by the goddesses. Like you, I have been granted special powers by the goddesses. Please, 
fine lake. You can, you can get to the woods on your own, right? Later, princess. I have one last request. Can you tell him where to find the mirror of twilight? First we've heard of that. Inna, I believe I understand now just who and what you are. Despite your mortal injuries, you act in our stead. These dark times are the result of our deeds, yet it is you who have reaped the penalty. Accept this now, Minna. I pass it to you. We come back, Link. Back to Fairy Woods. Zelda, I've taken all that you had to give, though I did not want it. Remember a while back when I said, I think something happens if we approach Hyrule Castle? It was that. Man, I really jumped the gun with that estimation. Anyway, yeah. Turns out, when Minna was begging us to take her to Zelda, it wasn't so that Zelda could save her. It was so that Zelda could finish the job and help Link. And even when faced with the premise of being given back her life, and knowing what it would do to Zelda, Minna did not want it. Despite all of her, her playfulness, Minna is actually an extremely selfless individual at the end of the day. And now with Zelda gone, Minna is restored. And we have a master sword to find. I don't, oh, wait a minute, what am I doing? I'm like, I, I, I don't have anything else between here and there. I can just, I just gotta run, no. We are Wolf with Minna. We can warp again. So we were told to go to the Farron Province. I guess we'll start off with the South Farron Woods and we'll go from there. Now, the funny thing is, I do not in any capacity recall where this Hidden Grove entrance is. It's gonna take a minute to think I can heal up in the spring. I suppose it could be up where the Forest Temple is, but I feel like it's not up there. It might be somewhere else in the swamp. Part of it. Although if it's in the swamp, then we're not gonna be able to go through it properly because uh, 
We lack the opposable thumbs with which to use a lantern, and we do not have a monkey to steal our light this time. Come to think of it, I don't even know if, they, if there was. I don't know if they'd even be able to get it, because we are wolf. We we do not have pockets. Where where would the lantern even come from? Hi, Koro. I, oh, I can't talk to your birds. But you aren't afraid of us. Ma, it sure is rare to see wolves around these parts. You're a good boy now, aren't you? Good boy. <laughs> Don't hurt me. I think your family has hurt you enough. Enjoy the birds. And thank you for being the only human not to try and attack us or run away from us in terror. I don't know. I think Koro's starting to just grow on me. <laughs> um, I know that we can go this way, but there's, there's no way that this is where we're supposed to go because A, obstacle that we can't interact with yet, and B, we didn't have to come back and blow up that rock. And if it wasn't blown up, then, well, we wouldn't be doing, we wouldn't be able to do anything. So... I don't know, Minna, can you give me a tip on this? No, you don't. You're just telling me to go to the deep in the Farron Woods, so... That tells me it's going to be on the other side in the North Farron Woods, so let's check there. Hmm. Oh, hey, we can also talk to the bird as a wolf. Hello. Ha! It's rough having to watch a shop in this unpopular part of town. Who's making you? And this is not a part of town. You are a strange, strange bird. And I wonder who you're working for. <gasps> ah, here we go! Monkey! Oh, hi. Those are a little different, aren't they? Got these little scarecrow puppet looking things. Oh. A little bit tougher to avoid than I remember, mainly because of their janky movements. Uh, but we saved the monkey from it. Did, did you save me? Thank you! Listen, since you're so nice, let me tell you something. There's a really pretty wooded area on the other side of this cliff. I climbed over there, but when I tried to get deeper into the woods, those guys attacked me! What's in those woods anyway? Hmm. A specially wooded area that is guarded by strange creatures? Seems like as good a place as any to check. So there's another section of forest beyond this cliff. All right, Link, let's go! There we go. You know, Minna might not have wanted us, uh, or, or might not have wanted Zelda to revive her because of it getting rid of Zelda, but the bottom line is, uh, if it weren't for, uh, <laughs> if it weren't for Midna, Link would not be capable of doing this. So by sacrificing herself to revive Minna, She's ultimately fulfilling Minna's wishes of having Link, you know, save the kingdoms. <gasps> A Howling Stone! Ah, the Prelude of Light. And now, for the duet. Let us howl.
let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. You know, the Prelude of Light has always been a very uplifting sounding song, and I feel like after what we just went through with Minna, I feel like that was a very needed, uh, a very needed thing to have that song be played. Anyways, uh, south of Castletown is where the wolf now waits. That'll be good to remember once we have eliminated Zant's curse. Welcome to the Sacred Grove. All right. I think this is where we're going to be calling it for here. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we are going to tour through the Sacred Grove and find the Master Sword. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.